What's going on guys? My name's Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. We're going to be talking today about DLC 5. Zombie Chronicles, it's the big news that's happening. And we're going to start right away with what Treyarch said on their Twitter account. Make sure to tune in for official commentary from Blundell himself. See you tomorrow. And they're referring to JC's tweet when he originally tweeted out, Jason Blundell from Treyarch has a reveal for us this Thursday at 10 a.m., which is tomorrow now. And uh, we're getting a really close, so by the time you watch this video, we'll probably already have the reveal. But we're going to talk today about the images that are being DM'd to people over on Twitter from Treyarch. So if you didn't already know, there are images that are being tweeted out right now from Treyarch, and I believe we have 17. 17 that I'm going to cover in this video. There might be more that are out there, but we'll have the official reveal by the time uh, you guys actually move on from this video. And uh, we'll move on to greater and bigger things once that actually happens. So the first thing we're going to look at is the Hellhound. I do believe this is Fluffy. And uh, it's either between that or Space Dog. You know, Space Dog is the other theory that's out there that it might be an actual reference to that. But it looks more like a Hellhound if you were to ask me. But uh, Space Dog or Hellhound is what I would say this is completely. And as we know with Fluffy, it's what happened in the events of Doris when... Fluffy uh, was turned into a hellhound. So I don't know. I don't know if there's more to this story or not. I don't. I don't think so. But uh, yeah, we'll move on to the second one. We got the Mob of the Dead plane. You know, and of the maps that were leaked, eight different maps, Mob of the Dead was not one of them. So this is just the leaks. Things may change. Uh, we're seeing a Mob of the Dead plane here. Speculatory. We may have Mob of the Dead but we may not. It wasn't in the leaked information that we saw. Um, so, are we going to see a return of some storyline information of our Mob of the Dead characters? The Blood Vials? Are we going to touch on the Blood Vials? We got the Wonder Waff. Take a look at that Wonder Waff. Damn. Well, we already have it in the Giant, so you know I'm not going to be head over heels for it, but it's interesting that it may play a role here. Are these actual keyed items that we may need to collect or do something with in Zombie Chronicles. Is that what we're being shown? I don't know. This is the monkey bomb right here. And as we know, the monkey bomb you throw it in the fire in the giant or Doris, you get some screaming going on. It sounds really interesting. Um, other than that, it tracks zombies. And uh, yeah, so that's the monkey bomb. We got Division 9 which we know in the new Ascension loading screen, it's going to be somewhat mixed with Division 9. Division 9 and the Ascension group may become uh, a thing in the map that we're going to be seeing. So are the Easter eggs going to be remastered? That's another thing that's really interesting. The leaked descriptions at least seem to point in that direction. But I think this is hinting at Ascension more than anything. So... We have the Cronorium next. The Cronorium is another picture that was shown, and it's a very mysterious book. Apparently the whole comic is the mission on how Richtofen started in Origins to gain the Cronorium. I think. No, let me pull up my timeline real quick. Maybe I said that wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So from Origins to the giant in between there the comic actually took place where the events of black ops 2 could happen right because of the moon and buried paradox okay yeah i was right so the cronorium we've seen it in revelations it was on samantha's bed what does that mean um are we going to see it again after we placed it on the what would you call it the after you place the Cronorium on the podium, it kind of disappears after it shoots off and then it actually spawns, you know, the ritual circle that you see up in the projector room. So, the Cronorium, where to go after that? Uh, are we seeing it at a new point? Is it a new point? Is it an old point? I don't know. It's just a picture of the Cronorium, so that's what it is. The power switch, as you guys see here, uh, it's got the zombie hand on it and we know in transit infamous for the zombie hand but in points before transit as well we've seen this I believe I don't know a lot of people like to think that this is Peter McCain's hand 
And I think that's really interesting. Because I, I may agree with you on that. I don't know. I like to think that Peter McCain's like Kenny from South Park. He dies in every every situation that he is in. He eventually just ends up dying. Um, but he hangs himself a lot. So a majority of his story majority of his stories are him being hung. So I don't know. We may get a remaster of Transit. Not really excited for that, but uh, okay. Looks like Juggernog may be returning here. Um, that's good to know, you know. It's good to have some Jug on standby. Uh, can't really take much from this right now. Jug, we got an Origins Robot. Origins, of course that's gonna be remastered, you know. It's gotta be remastered, it's Origins. Who wouldn't want Origins? Uh, yep. Matter transference device, the MTD, because you know the MPD is the pyramid device, the MTD, the transference device, is the teleporter, and this is seen in the giant, it's seen in quite a lot of other places, Kino Dertoten has one. Uh, these teleporters are different from the rest of the teleporters that we've seen. The other teleporters, such as Shadows of Evil, those have teleporters, and this is a totally different type. This is man-made. Um, and then we have the gobble gums. You can see Perkaholic right on the front saying that these maps, for the most part, are going to be remastered with gobble gums. And uh, interesting how they're all like sketches, right? So interesting how this sketch of the gobble gum was drawn out. I really like it. But Perkaholic on Origins? I don't know. The infamous Bus Route B. <laughs> Drive safely, exit half mile. So a lot of people in plane transit or riding the bus around expected there to be a bus route B. We went on A for so long, but is there a way that we can actually move the bus to go a different direction? So bus route B was always like some sort of rumor that was out there and never a thing. So it's kind of ironic that they put this in here. I find that interesting. Uh, but are we going to get a remastered transit with bus route B? food for thought. This right here is a very interesting image and I say that because Codeine Pizza thought this was a seahorse. I look at this and I don't see a seahorse right away. Mr. Waff Waffles thinks this is an outline of a Moss Mune. As you know that's the wonder weapon in Zetsubu no Shima. Why would that be a wall by? This is a wall weapon of some sort, a drawing or an outline of a weapon that you would buy. It's a wall weapon. So, for me, it's a wall weapon of probably the jet gun, even though that's built on a table. Um, I believe this can also represent a table. As you can see, the logs and the planks going in one direction can look like it's sitting on top of a table. Um, but it looks like a wall buy, so... It's huge and weird like the jet gun. It's huge and weird like the Masamuni. I get that, but a wall buy, nonetheless. So I don't have a first clue as to what this could be for a wall buy. Looks pretty powerful, but the shape of the jet gun is the closest thing I can see right there. And then we got the Group 935 logo. Good, good to know they're coming back. You know, Group 935 plays a huge role in everything. And uh, we need some more Element 115, so bring it on, fellas. Bring it on. I'm ready for DLC 5. And then we got the Sony Key, the last one. This is the last image, and this one here was sent to Mr. Waff Waffles. So what do you guys think? I mean, thinking about this, these are the images that we've seen so far, and it's interesting to me how each one of these were sent to a different YouTuber to cover it, and also the fact that Zombies is coming back, fellas. DLC 5. We got an announcement tomorrow happening on JC's channel. I'll have him linked below. And thanks for stopping in, guys. Just wanted to update you on all the images we've seen so far. And that's pretty much what we know on DLC 5 at this very moment in time. If you missed anything, all the leaks beforehand, be sure to check the description box below or check on my channel and see what else I've got covered. But uh, that should be it for now until we get our official reveal from Jason Blundell and Treyarch tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Violent out.